Ladies and gentlemen, the last speech of today, speech of uh, Luz Geysers, she belongs to the Swiss tourist organization. <laughs> we were very shocked, shocked really, because she said, in Switzerland, they have the best chocolate. We as Belgians, we are shocked, shocked. So next time, Mrs. Kaysers, you also tell the people they also have the best cheese. <laughs> That's a bad joke, but it's a bad joke. Okay, now a better one about Monsieur Dumas. Monsieur Dumas, Jean Malik Dumas. He is here working in Tilburg, and people in France, they ask him, Tilburg, where is this? C'est où? C'est où Tilburg? Tilburg. <laughs> and then he doesn't really know what to answer, Monsieur Dumas. When they ask you, where is Tilburg? You take a picture of your president and you say, Hollande, yes. That's a strong social identity, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know if you, are, are you here, Monsieur Dumas? Are you here? Uh, because, uh, we are not sure because of the hologram. He, he has two speeches today. <laughs> he has two speeches, one in Lyon and another one in Tilbourg, in Tilbourg. So we don't know if the real one will be here or in Lyon, but he is here because there is food at six o'clock. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You can eat something, chocolate from Switzerland. Yes. <laughs> so in any way, Jaap Pauwen, Jaap Pauwen, who dreams of a school of health, care, and well-being, he said, there will be no retirement for Director Magnificus. So, Monsieur Etienne, if somebody will need a hologram in the future, <laughs> then you can stay here till 2050. <laughs> and, um, but then you need a nickname. Dumas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gives a strong social identity. Yeah, strong social identity. In any way, what's important? We have here endowed professors. Endowed professors, uh, we need to build up a community. That's the message of Esther de Vries. How can we create a community? We heard the message of Jürgen Habermas. In the past, they went to a coffee house to discuss. But times are changing. So now you have to create at the university coffee shop. <laughs> and then you have one thing to do, just smoke. Yeah, just smoke. <laughs> and the community will be ready. Yeah. And after one hour, you will see seven horses in the sky. <laughs> like the presentation of Panos. He had a lot of animals in his presentation. A duck, a duck, a lion, a lion. He's got an offer today, CEO of Big Sibergen. Yeah, yeah, he got this. <laughs> uh, we have to tell you something about Hans Georg van Limt. One minute, yeah, one minute, yeah, one minute, yeah, just one minute. <laughs> one minute, one minute, yes, one minute. Don't go to Dordrecht, never. Don't go to Brida, never. Go to Bogota, Shanghai. Yeah, that's it. That's the future. Like Miss Dupont said in the first presentation, I'm coming from Sydney and I have a jet lag. So no problem anymore when you go to Bogota, jet lag. Shanghai, jet lag. Dordrecht, jet lag. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, we are going to the box. We will still return for some minutes, but 
don't forget one important message of Bart, Eric, no Bart, <laughs> Brunnenberg. Here, we have to be the top choice among ambitious young men and women. And who is the top choice? The rector Magnificus. I think it's up to him to uh, tell you something. We don't say anything about David Janssen. Yeah, he had no PowerPoint. He's a Belgian. No PowerPoint, but better chocolate. <laughs> so he has no PowerPoint because he said, I'm a philosopher. I'm a philosopher. So it means um, he, had, uh, he does, didn't make a PowerPoint. He has one question. What do you think? For us, one thing is important for a Belgian, responsible for the catering. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> so we hope we will see on stage in a few moments the Rector Magnificus or live or by hologram. <laughs> and then you know if he comes a hologram, the real one is in Lyon. In Lyon, yeah, we know. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we will go down in the black box for a few minutes. See you later. Bye-bye.